I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, Doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the Doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon netcast. And this week, we have the microphone back that gave me problems in the past, but now does not. <laughs> I know some of you are saying, Dr. Bill, how does that work? The microphone that gave you problems in the past now lo no longer gives you problems. Well, it's because I've changed the universe. I don't know if you remember an episode of uh, Star Trek, The Next Generation, where Q had lost his powers. And when Q lost his powers, he was trying to help them with a the problem. They were having a moon was going to crash into a planet. And he said, all you got to do is change the gravitational constant of the universe. And both Jordy and Data went, we can't change the gravitational constant of the universe. It can't be done. But they did actually figure a way to, relatively speaking, change the gravitational constant of the universe. You say, well, Dr. Bell, what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> it has to do with the fact that the microphone, microphone, <laughs> now works because I'm going through a mixer that connects to the USB bus of the computer. Things are falling behind me. Fortunately, it was not the Angry Bird or Tux. Yes, but anyway. So because I'm using the USB mixer, uh, going into the USB bus, and it's all nice and quiet and doesn't have <laughs> staticky noises, then life is good. <laughs> we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network. Techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here. On Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. <laughs> You're saying, what in the world did any of that have to do with anything? Well, just because I'm constantly tweaking. You know me and the tweaking. Anyway, let's get into our news item, shall we? News item for this particular netcast is a new cool Netflix web player has been debuted. Debuted is an interesting word, isn't it? It looks like debutted. <laughs> but no, it's debut. Must have French origins, because the French like to do those funny things with words. Yes. Anyway. Um, so, I love my Netflix. I can watch all the Star Trek I want on Netflix. Which is good. They have all the old Star Treks from the original series all the way through Next Generation to Deep Space Nine. Even Enterprise with Captain Archer. The whole nine yards, they've got all of it. Which is good. So anyway, what was I going to talk about? Oh, Netflix, yes! <laughs> Netflix has completely revamped its video player for browser-based viewing. And it's pretty slick. Not only does it come with a light box type text overlay, while a video is paused, users can also preview entire seasons of a TV show while they're watching one episode of the show in full screen mode. And Netflix is rolling it out across the interwebs. The only downside of the new player, it seems, is that there can be some issues with Chrome on the Mac OS. So if you're a Mac user, you may have issues. A warning screen came up to told this dude that writes the article here to switch to Safari or Firefox for the best viewing experience. However, a quick test showed that basic playback was working just fine via Chrome X. Excuse me. OS X X Chrome. Na 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 na. Yes. So, there you go. I, I can feel that this is going to be a different show. Just from the way it's starting. Anyway, SpaceX. SpaceX is cool because it's the first commercial space company. 
Yeah, I know. Fred is probably saying, yeah, the space between your ears. <laughs> Just give it a rest, Fred. <laughs> anyway, I told you last week that our, our mystery man... I wiggled the camera there, didn't mean to. The mystery man who, who puts those text things, comments on the show, is P-H-R-E-D Fred. A unique name for a unique individual. Fred. Okay, anyway. So, SpaceX is a commercial space company. They have uh, the Dragon spacecraft, yes, and they're going to, according to this article, they were going to set it off Saturday morning, which is, as I record this, is a Saturday. And it was early on this Saturday morning. And it happened not to go. Didn't work. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But when they do successfully get it up there, dude, it's going to be awesome. Because it will be the first commercial space venture that NASA has sanctioned to take... Uh, provisions, if you will, to the International Space Station. Yes. So now the Ruskies won't be the only ones sending food to space. Food to space. Anyway, okay. So, whoa! Geeks off for the week! <laughs> Jumped up! Barked me in the back of the head like it is wont to do occasionally. Actually, all the time. Geek Software of the Week this week is Pinta. That's not the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Not that particular Pinta. Pinta, in this case, is open source software that is used to do graphical stuff. <laughs> kind of like the GIMP, but with a lot less features. You say, well, then why would I want to use it? Because sometimes you need something just simple. Quick, easy, simple, easy to use doesn't have tons and tons of features. It's actually quite a bit lot like uh, Paint.net, if you're familiar with Paint.net for Windows. Well, Penta is available for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux, which is why I put it in the Geek Software of the Week and Geek Software of the Week Linux Edition, both categories, because it has a version for both. And I tried it on Ubuntu 12.04, and it worked very well. It's very simple, very straightforward, but is cool, okay? It can draw freehand lines, rectangles, ellipses, and more. It also has an extensive history function so that you can go back and back and back and back and back if you make mistakes, like me. <laughs> it has unlimited layers, and it has the ability to adjust in 35 different adjustments for effects and or tweaking of your images, as well as multi, tri, quad, and whatever support for your language. Various languages are supported. Also, you can, if you like docked windows, you can float windows, you can dock windows, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can mix and match. So it's cool. So you should try it. It's a quick and easy download. Now, I will say this. If you're using windows, you've got to load .NET 4. First, first, before you install it uh, in order for it to work. Okay? All right. Now, before we get to the next item, let me tell you that, as you can see by the banner here, GoToMeeting with HD Faces is awesome. And they have just graced us with the fact that they are going to be a sponsor again for Dr. Bill and Computer Curmudgeon through the Tech Podcast Network. So as the banner here says, if you, the lower third here, if you would like to participate in the free 30-day trial of GoToMeeting, all you got to do is use that special secret code word PODCAST. Enter that at the GoToMeeting uh, site at the little location where it says, you know, code word or whatever. Put, put it in there podcast and that will give the tech podcast network credit and thus help the doctor which is a good thing yes so uh next item spacex launch was aborted this happened this morning as i write this it was 4 55 a.m eastern daylight time i myself was asleep while they were trying to launch this but uh, it was slated to be launched. However, they had a problem. They said a potential rocket engine problem 
was to blame, and they're going to trace it down and find out what's going on. You don't want to have rocket problems on your rocket. You know what I'm saying? Not a good idea. So, I still am really jazzed about it, though. I think once they get everything working, it's going to be really cool to have commercial spacecraft so that it's not all government-sponsored. You know, between you and me, <laughs> the government's not who you want designing your rockets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I think it would be a good thing to have someone else do it. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, next item is that Twitter joins the Do Not Track movement. Now, here's the thing. Lots of websites track you. As a matter of fact, that's how they actually make their money, is they watch you do all the things that you do on the various websites, and they, they track you around the interwebs. And then they sell that information to people who use it to give you a hard time and try to make you buy things. Dude, that just isn't right. And so, because there are privacy concerns, and because there are people like me that don't want you tracking them all over the place, Twitter now offers an opt-out. In other words, you can say, don't follow me as I go do things while I'm on Twitter. And that's cool. That's good because, you know, privacy concerns, you should be in control of your own life, not the government and not weird, strange corporate people who are looking over your shoulder all the time on the interwebs. I sense a tinfoil hat. You knew there would be one. <laughs> so, yes, don't track me. No, I don't want you tracking me. Besides, if you went places and tracked things that I did, you'd probably go, this guy is so boring. Why am I even bothering? <laughs> Just say it. So, anyway, here's the thing. We're just about out of time. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Last week's program ended rather strangely with me frozen in space and time. And I should have had the Batman music. Da -da 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 -da. You know, playing Batman. like it is now. <laughs> You'll go, why do you have the Batman theme? Because they would play that music that's playing right now when... They would say, tune in next week, same bat time, same bat channel. Well, I was going to say that we were going to have a Game Master segment. But, and I left space for it in the show. But the Game Master said, meh. <laughs> he didn't have anything for a Game Master segment. So we said we'd do it this week. Okay? So now is the bat time in the bat channel or something to see the Game Master segment. So, let's go to that now. Now it's time for another Game Blaster segment. Game Blaster. Blaster. Game Master segment. This is not Game Blaster. I got a haircut. He got a haircut. A Game Buzz Cut. No. No. Never say it again. Okay. Um... I'm tired. Yes, you are. It's because it's night. It is, actually. It is night, and it is day also, later. What? Than when I did the... Oh, yes. It is also... I got up early this morning. Yes, so he's going on, like, almost very little sleep of... I could do the math if I was awake. And uh, sleep. Yeah. And I just got through the nap, and boy, my lighting is really terrible, but... I don't actually care very much. So he doesn't care about my segment. He just doesn't. He <laughs> no, doesn't I keep do. The quality I do. Up. I just. It's me. You. You look fine. You look. I need. You look I need well another lit. mic. Yes, anyone, he needs a mic. Anyone want to chip in and buy the doctor a new mic <laughs> that I don't have to hold? Yeah, I'm still trying to get him to buy the Vid Blaster software. So, <laughs> of course, you don't care about the Vid Blaster software. No, I really don't. I don't you're, you're see why you need to buy it at all. Saying, okay, so no offense, got, guys. It's got I'm an just ad saying. up in the corner, but. You know. I mean, that seems like it would be good for their business. Well, it is, but it's not good so, for mine. <laughs> why? It's not like it hurt anyway. Yeah, well. Uh, that's another argument for another... The mic, on the thing. other hand, he, he, he does actually need yeah, the mic. This I've is got not... this mic. 
Yeah, I you do. I could give you that mic at some point. Or I, we could I mean, I have a mic I could bring up. I just don't know if it would work with your setup. Like a headset mic? Like a lapel mic. Oh. Is it that an Maybe. Okay. Anyway. Well, that one is... Um, yes, I think that would work. I will bring it up and you can find out. Sounds like more or less a plan. So. Plan-like. Yes. plan like. So what were we going to talk about? Uh, we were going to avenge some peoples. Yes. All over the place. Yes. We can at least avenge you. I think some there was something yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. vaguely like that. Yeah. So anyway. So we saw the movie like a few weeks ago. Yes. The day that I said, we're going to go see the movie. Yeah. That day. Whenever that day was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so we saw it and it was awesome. And Oh, it was. It was truly awesome. If you haven't seen it, I've been telling everybody at work, go see this movie. Pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty much the must-see of our generation. I actually uh, plan to see it again. I plan to go again. I plan to see it not in 3D this time. Yeah, we saw it We saw it in... Uh, IMAX. IMAX 3D... Air quotes, IMAX. Air quotes, IMAX, yes. Uh, it wasn't much of an IMAX screen, was it? it was yeah. Kind of our th the theater near us has just basically a normal-sized screen, but with higher quality... Image. I don't know. Projector. Yeah. Uh, which is better than not having an IMAX projector, but it basically just allows them to sell well, you... Well, for $15, $15 a person, person, I mean, that's not worth it. Yeah. At I mean, all. they would need to get like a, a three-story, uh, you know, screen. Screen. Light screen. Light <laughs> screen. <laughs> Anyway, yes. Yes. That. In order for it to be truly worthwhile. So, but the movie was awesome. Cool. And you still have a mega shirt. I, of course I do. He he has worn other shirts since. It's just we've cycled back around to the mega shirt. I actually planned this because I knew we would be recording this today, so I ah, put this on. Ha, ha, ha. See? At any rate. There you go. No, we're actually recording these back to back. This is the same. No, it's not. Yeah, no, it's not the same day. They can tell that because it's dark. Yes, it is. And it is dark. Dark, and there's lights out there reflecting from the lights in here. That doesn't make sense. But you understand what I'm saying. It's a reflection of... <sighs> <laughs> reflections. Yes, it's reflections. Anyway, so the movie. Yes. Are, is our brain functioning enough to review this movie? No. No. We're going to try so anyway. We'll, we'll do what we can, because... I just got through with a nap. I took a little bit of a nap, and then I said, "Hey, took a quick, bit of a siesta." Game Master segment. Where did I get Game Blaster? Oh, I know that was a long time ago. That was a um, Blaster Master. No, there was a Game Blaster audio card. Okay, I, I will take your word for that. I, I think that's right. Your word has been taken. Yeah, yeah well, it's a vague memory. Boy, my lighting is really off. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yeah, movie. So, um, spoiler alert. Just put up a spoiler warning. Tony Stark rocks. That's not a spoiler. Well, That's true. just common sense. Just, yes. But no, uh, specifically the Hulk. I want to yes, talk about. Rocks. I want to talk about the Hulk, and I want to spoil the movie completely okay, by talking so, about the Hulk. So definitely spoiler alert. So if you have not seen the movie yet, quonk, quonk, quonk. If you have not seen the movie yet, I demand that you turn your speakers off right now. Because you need to hear this for yourself the first time. Just go get a sandwich. Yeah. Go walk away from the speakers and, and you'll be good. But anyway. Um, my favorite line in the whole movie. What? Go ahead. Favorite line in the whole movie. I know what it is. Is when the Hulk, <laughs> after he finishes smashing Loki around, he just says. Like a rag doll. Yeah. It was awesome. And Loki goes. Ugh. And, it, and the Hulk just says, puny God. <laughs> Best line. Yes. That, in any that movie. Was pretty cool it Actually, was the whole scene with him going to the punk yeah exactly punk. it was like i mean the bit where he punches thor is good you know yeah, the bit the bit where captain america says hulk smash is good but puny god just takes it yeah because that was just we'd already seen the amazing the, the captain america yeah, exactly not in context true the context made it even better yeah which was impressive because it was already pretty funny it was already a funny line but, dude, that was just awesome. I mean, it's kind of like one of those lines where you know they have to work it in somehow. Mm. But the way they worked it in was just impressive. That's true. That's but, true. Um, anyway, sort of like um, 
Like in the Fantastic Four movie, it's clobbering time. Yeah. And they had the little toy say it. Remember that? Right. That was that. I liked that. That was pretty cute. Yeah. This was like that, but epic instead of funny, and it turned out being funny too. Anyway. Yeah, there were a lot of scenes like that. Basically, there were, there were things that were just pure fun. I mean, they they had so many nods to the fans. Yeah. It was. I mean, awesome. you could tell it was made by fans and not by a corporation. Yeah. Aiming to get money. Apparently, Josh Whedon has read. It is Joss Qu- Whedon, by the way. Josh? There's no H. Joss. Joss? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I see that on the screen now that you mentioned it. In my brain. And and it does still doesn't make sense. But anyway, he apparently has read a few comics in his day. A few, yeah. Yeah. A few. Definitely. So, also, I agree with the Totally Rad Dudes. The Totally Rad Dudes said that... No one should make an Avengers movie other than Josh Whedon. Joss. However... I tried. I couldn't say it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I would actually one-up that and say that no one should make a superhero movie other than Joss Whedon. Because he's got it down, pretty much. That's true. He totally gets the genre. Exactly. He knows what the fans are looking for, and he knows how to take those expectations and exceed them. Mm. Sort of like what J.J. Abrams did with Star Trek. Yeah. Really? Really? Well, okay. I mean, come on. I mean, ignoring uh, ignoring continuity. Oh, yeah. Ignoring <laughs> continuity already. <laughs> Other than that. No, but I, I actually really like that Star Trek movie. Anyway, that's another topic. I, I liked it okay. I liked how he at least tried to explain it, you know, instead of just saying, uh, new universe, you know? Yeah. I mean, he did say it was New Universe, but he, he tied it in and he said... He at least gave them an know. excuse for New Universe. Yes. Exactly. Mm. Okay. But anyway, um, another topic for another Game Master episode that will never happen. Um, <laughs> Who knows? Maybe when we do uh, Enterprise... What's it, what was it called? It was Star Trek. Star Trek 2... Oh, uh, The Wrath of Khan. True. It actually yeah. will be The Wrath of Khan. It just won't be oh, the same Wrath of Khan. I don't Con. think so, will it? Yeah. They said Khan was going to be the bad guy, didn't they? I don't think so. I thought they I did. I kind of hope not. Because I hope not, be too, Khan, but, but... But Khan. I, I'm pretty sure that's what they said. And Ricardo Montalban's a bit busy being like dead. totally dead. So, unless they know a way to zombify him. Uh, yes, well. Anyway. Mm. So. so, Avengers. <laughs> yeah, Avengers. We are talking about the Avengers, I, I think. I think that's what we really started out to talk about. Eventually, we'll, we'll get back around to that. Um, I keep kicking the table. It's pretty great. Which is why the camera keeps going... Um, anyway, we should probably rate the Avengers so that we can go to bed. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Avengers are going, what? <laughs> um, what? Uh, so, the story. Start with that. Yeah. Out of five. Um, well, there's there's Epic. Uh, uh, so five. Um, I, w- I would have to go with five. <laughs> I mean, what else can you possibly give this movie? Uh, well, I was going to say, I mean, is this going to be kind of a, like a little bit of a, a given that it's going to end up being all fives? <laughs> well, I mean, we'll have to see. I haven't, I haven't quite remembered all the categories off the top of my head yet. Okay. But anyway, so the story was amazing. The writing was amazing. The dialogue was amazing. Mm-hmm. Everything about the story was amazing. Pretty much. Hulk was amazing. Absolutely. Matter of fact, it was the best Hulk of any movie, even the Hulk movies. E- which, well, that's yeah, not, not really saying, lot, saying a whole lot. It was the best Hulk movie. I did like the second Hulk movie a little bit, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, not like it wasn't like my favorite movie ever, but it was it was good. I didn't think I was going to like Mark Excuse Ruffalo me. as the Hulk, but okay. he is I, a good Hulk. I did not know that was his name, but okay. Yes. I um... <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Uh, next category: <laughs> graphics. Yes. Yes. Oh, you want me to? Do- okay. Yeah. Yeah. Graphics. Okay. Uh, five again, I guess. I mean, I was gonna say four and a half, but that would be undercutting it by half a point. Four point seven five three. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. No, I, the, the thing with the graphics to me was it, they were obviously amazing and yes. good, but they really didn't do anything that had never been done before, you know? They had a Hulk. Great big 
slightly green Hulk. Well, but this green Hulk is in the past. Which yeah, is actually good. It, I know. It yeah, yeah. but what I'm saying not though, real. the Hulk has been done before. Yes, and been done fairly well. The graphics, I mean, yeah. not the yeah. character, but the graphics. Yeah. Um, having like a giant flying spaceship helicarrier thing has been done before. Well, obviously. Yes, but they managed to make this one look very believable. They did. And it's a very unbelievable thing. They did, and I'm very impressed by that, but let me finish. Okay. Giant snake robot worm things mm. were done in Transformers, and I didn't like them then. The spice must flow. It, it, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. And then, I mean, I kind of just feel like it was all stuff we've seen before. Mm -hmm. It was done really well, but I can't say it was like amazingly epic like the first star wars movie was at the time yes sort of thing you know well, this is being compared to like the star wars for us i i agree generation although that was my generation so. I, well <laughs> just say i agree with that sentiment in terms of in terms of like pushing the boundaries of what a superhero movie is yes and 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 pop culture and all that but in terms of graphics i don't really feel like it was pushing any boundaries you know you know what i mean well, yes. Although I think maybe the thing about that is that. Well, I mean, the thing about that is they were dealing more with the story and yeah, the, and the yeah, people. and I like that they were taking it for granted that all of this was real. Yeah, I like that. That's that's yeah. one of the things I love about it. But that's part of the story. Okay. Looking purely at the graphics, I'm going to say four point five because it still was amazingly good. Yeah. But not, you know, groundbreaking. Mm. I mean, is that fair to say? I think so, and I think the other thing is, is they had plenty of money to work with, and they made over that's for sure. And two, yeah, isn't it like the biggest grossing the movie ever? Movie. Yes. Yeah. By so good. yeah. Uh, sound, audio stuff happened. Place, yes. Jigger thing. Yes. Yes, it was glorious. Let me guys. Let me tell you guys a story. <laughs> so a story. a story. So you know how if you've seen the movie. They play that scene in the middle of the credits, and you're like, oh, okay, that's it? That, that's the scene at the end of the movie? The one that I missed because I had to go to the bathroom? No, 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 no. You've just ruined my story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The one with spoilers, Thanos. Oh, that one, yes. Yeah, okay. in the middle of the credits. Right, that one I saw, and then I said, dude, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, he, he went to the bathroom, and, and I figured he was fine because, I mean, that's, that's the only thing they're going to show, right? Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, I loved the song they were playing during the credits so much, I decided to stay. pretty epic, yes. Yeah, I decided to stay anyway. Well, I mean, I, I had an urgent meeting. I, I understand. <laughs> However, but because I stayed, I did get to see that extra scene, which I'm not going to spoil. So yeah. if any of you didn't see it, you should go look it up on YouTube. It's on YouTube, right? I don't know. I didn't think about that. I could maybe see it on YouTube if it, it's truly on YouTube. Someone told me they looked um, it up on YouTube. So I, I think it, it might have been, might have been Vlad. Oh, dude, I'll have to wait until the Blu-ray comes out. Anyway, um, why would you wait until the, that? That's not internet thinking. Anyway. Well, no, but but I totally want the Blu-ray. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I mean, even I'm with you. If we can get the Blu-ray and DVD, fine. But That'd be I, cool. I want the Blu-ray. Yes. Well. Anyway. Uh, the point of that story, other than to say there is something after the credits, yes. keep watching. Uh, the other point of that was to say that the sound in this movie is spectacular. The voice acting is great. The music is great. The sound effects are great. Five. Five out of five. Okay. Uh, are there any other things? Categories? I'm working. <laughs> um, I'm muting. <laughs> yeah. You can see a little... Yes. Uh... I mean, it's not a video game, so there's not, like, you know, replayability or anything like that. I guess there's rewatchability. Hey, there's rewatchability, because I is... totally am going to rewatch it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but see it in regular, though. I guess, I guess that's really the most important ones. Um, if you wanted to do another one, I would call it maybe fan service, you know. Yes. Trueness to the comics, which I think mm -hmm. it did a pretty good job of. Oh, Except yeah. Nick Fury really isn't black, guys. He really isn't. Well, not historically. <laughs> they have they have totally changed it. I know, and that's and so weird. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson is an amazing is Nick Fury. Nick Fury. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know how I feel about that because I'm traditionally really unhappy when they change things well, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like but when they, they said it a long time ago. Yeah, but I mean when and they said changed it a long time ago and made him Nick Fury. I mean, made yeah. 
Samuel L. Jackson, Nick Fury in the comics. Yeah, they basically did. They, they modeled the comic Nick Fury after Samuel L. Jackson. They got his permission and they did it. And he was like, dude. Yeah, that's the thing about Samuel L. Jackson is when he plays a character, he gets into the character. Oh, and yeah. he loves the character. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. He's a very cool actor. I like him. I actually saw or read part of an interview that he did where he was explaining Nick Fury's motivation, so to speak. Which and is he pretty was cool. His Nick Fury. Which is pretty cool when an actor can do that and not <laughs> sound like an enough. idiot. You know? Yeah. Because I've heard of a lot of actor interviews where they just sound like complete idiots. So, like uh, Keanu Reeves? <laughs> well, that's <laughs> just a space case. <laughs> I'm talking about Michael Shanks trying to be Daniel Jackson. Well, yeah. And in an interview, he just falls apart. Yeah. If, if he doesn't have it written yeah. in the script, he just can't ad lib being and I, cool. I hate that, but it's <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And Dave Jackson is like my favorite character, so I was really bummed when I found out that Michael Shanks was not my favorite character. Yes. Well, he also uh, he also does uh, Mega really Snake, yeah. Bad <laughs> movie. God, Mega sci-fi. Snake. It, oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> uh. So, anyway. <laughs> so, finally. Uh, final overall rating? Yes. Ten. I mean, come on. What else was it going to be? Uh, at least ten, maybe more. <laughs> I don't think that's physically possible. Well, maybe But not, if it but was. If it was, yes. If it was. So, so I guess the bottom line is, is watch that the everybody movie. must go. Watch the movie or else. go watch this movie. Yep. That also does something else. It encourages Marvel and other movie companies to make comic book movies, and well, they should. Well, yes. However, we have to be careful with that because we want them to make good comic book movies. Well, yes, they are going to make a JLA movie. Not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> yes, well, that's what I, kind of what I'm saying. <laughs> if they do that well, that'll be good. If they don't, yes. then let's just say but... they have a lot. To live up to. Specifically, though, I'm concerned. I'm tentatively excited and concerned at the same time about the Spider-Man movie that's coming out. Indeed. I they really found a guy that looks like Peter Parker. I guess. No, he, no. he looks a little bit more like Edward Cullen to me, but okay. Whoever that is. You don't know who that is? No. That's the guy from Twilight. I don't do Twilight. I know. <laughs> but that's kind of my point. He's got that sort of emo haircut going on. Yeah, well, I mean, that's anyway. the generation. Um, I do kind of like that they're doing Gwen Stacy instead of Mary Jane, though. Indeed. Gwen Stacy was my favorite girlfriend of his. Yeah. When I was reading the comics, and I was very And frankly, Mary Jane isn't much of a character, in my opinion. At least, the Mary Janes that I've seen haven't been. Yeah, the one that was in the comics was pretty good. Okay. But that's fair. I mean, the Definitely movie not one. What they've done with her in the movies. The movie one was kind of lame, and the cartoon one was really lame, especially when they got into the whole water clone thing. Yeah, what was well, that? That was just wrong. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I don't know. I, I'm, I'm tentatively excited because the lizard is one of my favorite villains. Gwen yeah. Stacy is a really cool character. Yep. Yeah. I like some of the things I've seen about you know Spider Man swinging around the city, but they definitely seem to have. I mean, my observation is, what I've seen of it, is that he looks more like Spider-Man hanging upside down. And, you know, basically comic book looking yeah. moves yeah. than I've ever seen before in a live action. So, I can go with that. But I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm after hopeful. After all, I saw Spider-Man when, in the, like, 70s or whenever it was, when they had this, like, six-foot-two guy playing Peter Parker and Spider-Man was a little five-foot-two guy. That makes perfect sense. And it was, and he was skinny, and the other guy was heavy, you know, not heavy like fat heavy, but muscular heavy. And Spider Man was this leaf dancer like guy, and and it, that doesn't make any went, sense. No, you don't put on a costume and and lose a hundred pounds. That doesn't make sense. You know, so <laughs> would that it were so. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, you would see a lot more people running out on spandex. That's true. Well, I just, anyway, I don't want, I don't want moving on. Yes. <laughs> and we were talking speaking, about that with bicycles today. Speaking of spandex, Man, and, Man of Steel. Yes, that's going to come out. How do you feel about that? I'm not sure how I feel about that. Basically, yeah. And kind of like that about the Spider-Man movie too. Although, well, the Spider-Man, Spider-Man one Spider-Man movie at least looks like it could be good. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to the Superman one. I'll be honest. Yeah. Superman has not had a good Can showing. They surprise us. They might. They may. 
But I still say Tom so Welling. So far, the DC movies have not been well received in general. Which is sad. I liked Green Lantern. I liked Green Lantern a, a lot. lot. Yeah, I'm, of course, a total Green Lantern fan. True. So that helps, but... Still. And I like Ryan Reynolds. He's fun. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not a traditional like Hal Jordan, but oh, well. he was cool. Anyway. So, um, how we doing on Korra? How we doing on the Avengers cartoon? Well, the Avengers cartoon is just kind of all right. I don't know. I like it, but really? it's not amazing. By any stretch. Justice. Young Justice is pretty impressive. I like Young Justice. What they're doing with that is quite impressive. And Korra, I don't know. I had another one of those moments where I kind of felt like they missed some opportunities in that last episode. Mm-hmm. Because they revealed that this one character, I'm not going to spoil it, this one character turns out to be working with the Equalists, and we saw it coming from the moment he was introduced, yeah. frankly. And Although we weren't sure it was going to be him or the, another character near him. Yeah. I'll try not to say anything there. Yeah, I know what you mean. And, and I'm sure they do, too. But my point was going to be, though, if they were going to do that twist, they should have played it up more. They should have made it draw out longer. They mm. should have brought out more of the characterization and the, you know, the motivation. But, I mean... It's a kid's show, you know? It kind of isn't, though. I mean... Well, yeah, I agree. It's on that border, and I, I wish they would lean more towards being serious, because kids can handle serious, you know? Yep. They can. Pop anyway. of course, rocks. Pablo is amazing. He's the best <laughs> character, clearly. Yes. Cor sort of like Momo is the best character of, of the first show. Yeah, well. I wasn't as big a Momo fan, but I'm totally down with Pablo. So. <laughs> That's fair enough. So, okay. So, uh, is that pretty much it for the Game Master segment this week? Um, well, I do have a story I could tell, but I kind of want to save that for the next one. Okay, we'll do Cause that. Because that's a techie story that will go with what I will hopefully be talking about in the next segment, which is Mass Effect 3. Oh, yeah. So excited about that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. So, but, yeah, I kind of sort of maybe know a little about what it might be. Yes. So, good. There you go. So, we'll, we'll head on out now. That way. Uh, yeah. That way? That way. This way. Oh, that yes, that way. Well, uh, do that again while you're on camera. Yes, okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, so I personally will go that way uh, because that's where the TV is, and we're going to go watch like the Avengers, yeah. So which is all right. It's an I Avengers said that. kind of day. So anyway, remember until next time, the Doctor and the Game Master are out of here. You need a new intro for me, outro rather. Outro, yes. Oh well. Whatever. We're out. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.